Welcome back to Foundation Physical Therapy's YouTube channel. Today we're going to go over some core stability activities, uh, something that's, that's seen as, as fairly basic, but there are some small details that I see missed very often. So we're going to go through that stuff, and, and we're going to make this so that if this, this is your first time trying it out, you have things you can do, and if you've been doing this your entire life, we'll show you some challenging ways to kind of progress. So um, for starters, you're going to get on your hands and knees, okay? So we're here, hands and knees. This towel will become important as soon as you roll it up and you place it on your lower back, okay? So you're going to be in this position here, knees underneath your hips, hands underneath your shoulders, and then you're going to take a towel roll and place it right on your lower back, okay? So this is our basic start position. From this position, you can work on just tightening your abdominals without holding your breath and then just holding for a little while and then you exhale right so you can hold for a few seconds now big thing is when I do that I don't pull in my spine I don't lose my towel okay everything should remain completely neutral and I, that's why I think the towel is important because it gives you a constant um, cue to let you know you're doing it right eventually you'll learn to do it without the towel you just won't need it anymore so you place that towel in the small of your back your knees are underneath your hips your hands are underneath your shoulders and then you can work on just tightening your abdominals if that's pretty easy, then the next step is lifting this hand. Now, this is where a lot of problems start to happen. When you lift your hand up, if you notice that it's getting shorter, you probably need to not lift as high. So what I really think about doing is first, keeping that arm nice and long. So the first thing I might do is just slide out and work on doing that without losing my posture, okay? If that's easy, then I slide out and then I reach now another big problem is people tend to reach up and that makes your back arch, right, if you don't have the, the appropriate amount of flexibility. So really what you're trying to do is you're trying to reach as far as you can that way without losing, without side bending in the spine or losing my posture. So again, I wanna try to reach as far as I can and get long, 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 long. Now if that's easy, then what I'm gonna try to do is I'm gonna try to, with the opposite leg, I'm gonna slide it out. And I may leave my toe down and just work on getting that leg nice and long without lifting it. If that's a piece of cake, then what I do is I try to lift that leg up. And again, I'm really focused on keeping my abdominals engaged and not losing my posture. And then I come back, right? So then what you might do is put them both together. And this is where the wheels fall off for a lot of people because the thought is that I need to just reach and lift, right? and that's gonna cause you to lose your, a lot of your core stabilization. You're gonna get a little bit of mobility in here, I think that's okay, but you also don't wanna invite arching your back when you do this. So again, you keep those two previous movement patterns in mind and you kinda slide out. And now what I'm trying to do is get as long as I can from my fingertip to my big toe and I reach. Reach, reach, reach. And then I come back, okay? If you've been doing that correctly for a while, you can check yourself for the mirror and you want to progress your mobility and you want to progress your core stabilization, then what you do is you reach out, pause for a few seconds, then you want to come knee to elbow. Now when I come knee to elbow, I may flex in the spine a little bit, but as long as I'm not losing that towel, I'm, I'm happy with it. I'm going to hold here and then reach back out. So I try to do as many of these with good form as I can. All right. Then you reach out. So that's a very simple progression in all fours, your quadruped position that you can do to challenge yourself regardless of where you're starting out. Right? Pick a starting point that's challenging but doable with good form. Work through some repetitions. It may take you a week or a few days. And then slowly go through the paces. Right? And you want to do this equally on both sides just to build some symmetry. So we remind you that movement is a gift. Part of having good movement is having good core stability. So if this video is helpful to you, please subscribe, or if you know somebody that it'll help, please share it with them.